Yo, what's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John City 4 here, bringing you guys more Man 15 Ultimate Team, and also welcome to the Conference Championship of Season 4. Now, so far, still getting the playoff, guys. In the first round, we ended up winning 14 0 because my opponent just couldn't handle that defense, and also, which leads into six games being shut down by my defense. I mean, these guys has just been tremendous the whole season. Freaking Marcel Darius and Halori Nada are doing a hell of a job just sacking quarterbacks left and right. Also, my defensive ends containing all the goddamn time. My linebacker unit was, well, sometimes, you know, Terrell Suggs and Luke Kuechly have, have their moments. And, but my safeties, Morgan Burnett and Micah Hyde, I think they were the biggest game changers of season four. I mean, if I would've had Dante Wendner and Mike Adams like season three, I believe they would have gone burn or they wouldn't even got some zone coverages here and there. So I believe Morgan Burnett was the biggest steal of season four. Anyways, moving on to the gameplay, guys. My opponent had Aaron Rodgers as a quarterback. He ended up going to three and out in his first offensive drive. So nice defensive stop by my defense. So far, season four has been filled with just defensive stops and interceptions and forced fumbles that um, you know pretty much my defense is the is the team so far. <laughs> Uh, my offense is also trying to keep up with some new receivers, Brandon Marsh and Demarius Thomas. They've been doing okay. Creel Patterson running slant right here. Nice offensive gain right there. 34, 34 yards for a reception right there. Demarius Thomas catching the most impossible catch that you can think of. I mean, come on. I believe that one should have been intercepted by the linebacker. I don't think he would have caught that. But seeing that he's 6'3", I think that's why he had some kind of an advantage going on. So, anyways, that led into a touchdown to, into 7-0. And my my second defensive drive, Brandon Browner intercepts the ball and takes it away from Devin Hester. I thought he was beat, though. I really do admit that I thought he was beat or something, but no, he actually stretched out for an interception. That was amazing. And I know a lot of you guys want me to replace him, but I'm like, he's six foot four and he's yet stopping Devin Hester up there. So I might as well keep him for another season. So you, you guys, I'm telling you guys right now, I'm keeping him for another season. I don't think I'm going to let him go. Only Antonio Cromartie. That guy needs to go because I just found out he has 81 zone coverage. So I need some guy with some zone coverage uh, like very over 90 because I don't want anybody to be defeated deep, you know, because so, I do hate when people send streaks with the outside receivers. So anyways, my offensive drive ended up going to, into a 3 and out, ended up doing a field goal, which leads into a 10 and out. My opponent received the ball. He actually returned it halfway down the field, and he got so close that he ended up doing his field goal himself, and he kicked it over 50-plus yards. God damn. How the hell? What kicker did he have, man? I think he had Justin Tucker. I'm not sure. So that leads into the score of 3-10, and 10. and also I ended up receiving the ball, got into a 3-and-out, and out, and this guy ended up receiving the ball, and this is the drive that you can't see him right now. And nice scramble right there by Aaron Rodgers. He's getting really close into scoring. Uh, my defense better step up a little bit right there. My linebacker, Luke Keighley, nice stop right there before the first down. Third and two. A little bit of a run towards the left side. No, rejected by number 55, Terrell Suggs. Nice stop right there. Can, I de my, can my defense stop this guy? And a run stop happens on the one-yard line. This guy ended up being turned over. Leads, gives me the ball. And 31 seconds to go into the third quarter. And we're about to go into the fourth quarter. Three minutes and 30 seconds to go. Another nice run right here by Doug Martin. I'm just going to try to run the clock down because I don't want this guy to have the ball again. I mean, he was just throwing in a bunch of complex routes in the offense, and I don't want to see that again. So I ended up running the ball. I'm trusting this time uh, Doug Martin and Marshall Lynch to actually get the first down, and it was happening. Look at these kinds of runs. They were just pushing, man. They were trying their best. Doug Martin and Marshall Lynch. And right here, an especial guest, Joe McKnight, takes it for 10 yards. Saves me right there from a third and 11. <laughs> And um, you know, pretty much I ended up running down the time. He had no timeouts left. Ends up kicking a field goal right there. 3 to 10. I mean, 3 to 13. That's end of the game. I mean, that's 10 points away. You can't, can't catch me up after that. So he ends up running the ball just to run the clock, and that's game over. So we ended up winning the semifinals for the playoffs here in Man 15 Ultimate Team Season 4. Our next game, guys, it's going to be the Super Bowl. Look at him. Look, look, I forgot to mention Derek Carr also. He's doing okay. He's doing some good passes though, by the way. You guys should rewind this video to see some passes from Derek Carr. So anyways, yeah, we ended up winning, guys. And uh, we're now we're going to go to the Super Bowl. If you guys can't wait for it, make sure you subscribe. Also, make sure you leave a like on the video if you guys support the series. And um, you guys want to see more also. So, kind of nervous. My, my freaking palms are sweaty right now. <laughs> uh, I mean... God damn it. It's been a while since I've been in Super Bowl, you know. Uh, last season, I should have been in it. But 
I lost. That would have made like two Super Bowls in a row that I won, but so far I only won the season two Super Bowl. The season three I lost the, the, the first round, and now we're gonna be going to the Super Bowl. God damn. So I'm putting it all on my defense. They better fre be freaking doing some turnovers on the Super Bowl. They better they better do. So um, you know, Jadavion and Clowney, the men, the munches more. Out of them, better step up in, in the playoffs. So that's it guys, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, and I'll see you guys later, and, and subscribe for more.